Hello and welcome to the Bash Bunny tutorial series. In this video, we're going to look at how we can get started with our Bash Bunny. We have three main objectives for this video. We're going to look at the mechanics of the bunny. We're going to figure out how we can SSH into the bunny. And then we're going to look at an easy payload that we can use to attack a machine with the bunny. Now first, let's take a look at the mechanics. There are three switches that are on the bunny. The position that is furthest from the plug is known as switch 1. This is an attack mode position. Position 2 is right in the middle. This is also an attack payload position. And Position number three is known as arming mode. Now this is when the switch is closest to the USB plug, and this is going to be where you will place your payloads or load your payloads into the bunny. So just remember that positions one and two are for attacking, whereas position number three, which is where it's closest to the USB plug, is where the bunny will be in storage mode to allow you to load your payloads into the bunny. Now there are various LED statuses. Green is booting up. The red blinking is what you'll see when you perform the firmware upgrade. Blue is arming mode. Now one thing that is very important is when you move from your storage or arming mode to a position of attack mode to make sure that you right click and safely remove the bunny. Now let's talk about SSHing into the bunny. There are basically two ways to do this, either through your port com or through the Ethernet network adapter. Now, using the port com method, you can have the bunny in the storage or arming mode, bring up your device manager, and look for the specific port number that your bunny might be communicating on. In my instance, it's communicating on COM4. So what I can do is just set up my putty to make a serial connection to COM4, use a speed of 115200, and go ahead and connect via putty. The default credentials, of course, you log in as root, and the default password is hack5bunny. Please be sure to change that. The other way is via an IP address. Now what I've done is I've set my IP before to 172.16.64.1. Make sure that Windows is showing the word network and it should describe the bunny IBM USB remote NDIS network. As long as that's there, you can use PuTTY to then log in. Now let's use the bunny to make some attacks. So the first thing you want to do is make sure that you are in storage or arming mode. Go ahead and copy the code that's shown on the screen. Place it into a file called payload.txt. Then I want you to take that payload.txt and replace the existing payload.txt that might be in the switch1 folder. At this point, safely remove your bash bunny from Windows. Now. Change the mode from arming to attack mode by placing the position in switch 1, which is the one furthest away from the USB plug. After you insert it into Windows, you let it run for a couple of minutes. Once you see the green light, then you'll know that it's done, and you should see an nmap.txt file that has been created. You can either cat that file via PuTTY, or you can look at it putting your bunny back into storage mode and viewing the results there. 